Hey everyone, Savu here and today we are going to create a fully functional joystick controller for any kind of mobile game. Let's jump into it. Here I have created a simple joystick background and the joystick itself in Photoshop. You can create your own sprites matching your game's art or you can use the built-in preset sprites that I'm going to show you in a moment. In Unity, open the Assets tab, Import Package and click on cross-platform input. Make sure you have everything selected and click on import. Now, the first thing to do is to place our joystick sprites in the right position inside of our canvas. Right-click on your hierarchy tab and create a UI image. This first object will be our joystick background, so select your joystick background sprite and attach it to the game object. After that, create another image game object as a child of the first one and select your actual joystick sprite and attach it to the game object. Now that our joystick is ready, place it wherever you want inside of the canvas and don't forget to set the anchor points. To do so, inside of the Rect Transform window, click on the little square and choose the right position. After all the steps, we are finally ready to give our joystick functionality and move a game character around. With that said, add a new component in your joystick and search for the joystick script. Without changing anything, let's first see how our joystick would work in an actual game. As you can see, its movement range is not quite right and also it seems to be moving in a square shape. First, let's change the movement range inside of the inspector to let's say 20 and test it again. Looks much better now, but the square shape is still there. To change that in a smooth circular motion, we open the joystick script and make some simple changes. Now scroll down until you find the on drag function. Here you have to comment out the transform position line which is responsible for the joystick movement. Now what we have to do is to write just one line of code using the vector3 clamp magnitude function. Follow along and write the same code in your script. When you're done, lastly, comment out the delta values in both x and y axes for a smooth movement. And that's it, save and test the new joystick movement in the game scene. You can always change the movement range based on your needs. Let's increase it to 50 and test again. Perfect, our joystick has a circular and smooth motion and ready to move some characters around. To do this, I will use the main character of Creaturelands, my latest RPG game which you can download anytime with the link in the description. Let's drag the prefab into the scene and zero out its position. Now it's time to create a simple character movement script which moves our character around using the joystick we've just created. First, we need a public speed variable to change our character's movement speed an integer idle variable which will indicate if we are moving or not and lastly the rigid body 2D of our character. In the start function assign the rigid body of your character using the get component rigid body 2D function. Now what we have to do is to check if we are moving along the horizontal axis, the vertical axis or not at all. This will be done using simple if else statements and dividing the joystick's movement in four parts the top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. We will achieve this by using the cross-platform input library and constantly checking the horizontal and vertical get axis values. As you can see here. After setting up the if-else statements, it's time to code the character's movement based on the axis we are getting. When the horizontal value is greater than zero, this means we are moving to the right so the local scale x position should be 1. Otherwise, we are moving to the left and the x value should be minus 1. Now, for each case, we have to set a new vector 2 value based on the speed and the direction we are moving to. Just like this. 1 for up and right and minus 1 for left and down. When you are done, assign the smooth vector to your rigid body's velocity value. The last thing to do is to check if our character is standing still in order to reset all values. 
we will write another else statement which will check the idle value. Idle will be 1 whenever we are moving and 0 if not. Now after writing all our code the most important part is to change our update function to fixed update. Everything that happens to rigid body should be done inside of a fixed update since it has a close relationship to the physics engine. Now close your script editor and assign it to your character. You will see the public speed variable so increase its value to let's say 5. Finally we are done and hopefully our joystick works just fine. Let's find out. Nice, the movement is smooth and our character moves according to the joystick's directions. Note that this joystick works perfectly fine on every mobile device with touch functions. Feel free to experiment and create your own joystick to enhance your game's controls. If you want to learn more about animating a character, feel free to check out the link I will leave down in the description. Leave a like and subscribe for much more game development tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!